Today we're talking about round sections that you can create quickly in Fusion using surfaces. I start a sketch and right in the center I've created a construction line and I'm going to do a circle out here in space. Now we can turn this a 360 degrees around this center line if we like, but we're going to use surface and we're going to go up to revolve. We choose this circle and then this line is our axis, the thing that we're rotating around. And we have the option of rotating fully or partially. So let's do all the way around and we'll click OK. Now what this has created that's different than like our solid revolve is that this is a surface body. And this means that when you look over in the bodies folder over here on the left, you'll have this little orange icon, as well as um, if you were to cross section this, you'll notice that it's not solid. And if you were to measure from face to face, there is no thickness because these are surfaces. Now, if you want to create a section that you revolve and it's only partial, this is where surfaces can be really quick because you don't have to finish sketching out the rest of this profile. And this can make your life a little bit easier. So if we were to revolve this and we click this line, I'm using chaining to grab everything that I can. I'll click axis and we'll select this axis. And now what I wanna do is only revolve it 90 degrees. So I choose partial and 90 degrees. And so it's doing a 90 degree section that is just a surface body. It's a series of faces. And now if we quickly wanted to make this into a solid, the easiest way you can do this is choose thicken. You can check out my other video that I created just on thicken. But what you do is select these faces and then you choose where that thickness is gonna be applied. Is it coming to the outside, the inside, and how big is it effectively? So if I say five millimeters and then click okay, it now resolves and we now have a solid uh, revolved section here created from our surface body. And why this is kind of cool or helpful is if you were to create an open section like I just did and you wanna revolve it, if we try to do this with solid, we're not gonna be able to because the profile is not closed. When you try to select it, it won't work. Now, maybe you're familiar with a thing called thin feature and that only works when you are using the solid extrude. So there is an exception when you use this thin feature and you go to this open profile, we can extrude this straight out and it will add thickness to that line. Pretty cool. But unfortunately that doesn't work for revolves. So if you want to do a quick open section like this one, this is where that surface revolve is really handy. Right, going back to the sketch and now when we choose surface, we're going to revolve this we're going to choose this section and we're revolving around an axis. We'll say that it's this one. And so we can do a, a, a section again, or we can do, let's do a little bit bigger. We'll do 270. It goes all, almost all the way around. We click OK on this and we have our surface body that we can now edit. We can trim it down and make it look exactly like we want, or we can make it solid using the thicken command. So in wrapping up, this is a nice feature that you can use to revolve simple sections that aren't closed of your sketches and then add thickness later. Now, one other option we haven't talked about that's kind of fancy is this project axis. So what this does is it will change the axis that you have created. I have a an axis kind of off in space at an angle. So I'm expecting this rectangle when revolved to go around um, in space. So let's look at that first. We're going to select it and it's going to go around this profile. So it takes the, excuse me, the profile goes um, around this one and in a revolve fashion to 270. If you were to look at this line, how would it be projected on the original sketch plane? Well, the sketch plane is the front plane. This is the one that we sketched this rectangle. So you can see our kind of diagonal or angled line in space, if it were projected flat onto this face or onto this plane would just be a vertical line. So if I were to choose this project axis, it's as if it's doing a vertical line, which I would expect it to kind of go around in kind of this fashion. So let's look at that. We'll hit project and it now is going around and it's even giving me this kind of preview 
of what the axis looks like. So an interesting way to solve it, just be aware that when you toggle this, you sometimes can get pretty different results based on how that axis that you've created would be relative to your sketch plane that you're working on. Another thing with axes, let's choose this profile. You don't have to have an existing axis. You can go up to your reference geometry, like your original planes, your original axes over here. I can use these. I don't have to sketch around these. So I'll come over and choose axis and not these planes to be more clear. I can choose one of these three reference axes. Let's choose this blue one. It'll go around this one in space, giving us a revolve around an existing reference axis. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.